Hello, in this video we'll be taking you through how to generate a new RA project using the Kyle MDK environment. We'll be using the Renesas Advanced Smart Configurator, RASC, the Flexible Software Platform, FSP, and the Kyle MDK environment. And we'll also be connecting up to the EK for the RA6M3. Okay, so let's start by invoking the RASC. So to start, we'll be asked to supply a folder for the project and a project name. And then we next into the project generator where we can select a version of the FSP. Here it's 2.2 and I can select a target device or evaluation kit in this case. And I can see further details of the kit and the configuration on the right hand side. And here I actually choose the Kyle MDK environment. And then choose next, I can select whether I wish to integrate a real-time operating system or not. In this case, I'm not going to select a real-time operating system. And now I can choose the type of project, either a bare metal project or uh, maybe a Blinky project. And I'll choose the Blinky project in this case. And now the full project configurator starts up, which is very similar to what you may have already seen with the eSquared Studio environment, where we can configure the uh, the BSP or the board support package. Uh, I can change some of the properties. I can look at the clocks. I can change some of the pin configurations. Um, I can look at interrupts and, and other entries here, but I can also go to the stacks pane and start to add in drivers as necessary. But for this particular project, um, the Blinky project, I don't need to add anything else to this. So I can just go ahead and generate um, the project code and close RASC and start up MDK on the generated project. On the left hand side here we can see the source code that's actually been generated. This is the uh, the FSP source code and the user source code uh, is here so I can open up uh, the startup file and have a look at the Blinky code uh, and obviously update it as necessary. Uh, building the project um, automatically runs through, compiling, linking, as we'd expect. And then I can invoke the debugger um, straight away. Um, and typically this will be using the Sega J-Link connected directly to the EK. We'll automatically download. I can run the code. And as expected, uh, the LEDs will be flashing on the target board. And then uh, stop the debugger and then uh, close the debug session. I may also want to re-invoke the RASC to add further drivers or change some, some configurations. And this could be done from the tools menu, provided it's been set up. And, and this is included the, in the instructions uh, supplied with the RASC. Once that's actually set up, we can re-invoke the RA Smart Configurator or RASC from within the MDK environment. So we can add or reconfigure drivers as necessary. And that concludes this video. I hope you found it useful.